Hello, my name's Pip Haley. I'm the Cornwall Foundation Trust Tissue Viability Lead. I'm a podiatrist and I've been with Cornwall Foundation Trust now for about 17 years. And hello, my name is Leslie Pearson. I'm a project manager um, supporting Pip in implementing the Transforming Room Care project for Cornwall Partnership Foundation Trust. We are a test evaluation site for the Transforming Wound Care strategy and uh, we're into our second year. We're a county-wide service within tissue viability and all our community-based um, treatment options. We have approximately 1,800 patients um, with identified lower limb wounds that are part of the project on our caseload. Um, we have many aims and objectives which we can talk through later um, to decide how we wanted to progress with the project. Uh, we are implementing immediate and, nation, uh, immediate and necessary care within the county and the project has reached out not just to our own trust um, practitioners but also with the ICB as well, the Integrated Care Board and nursing homes. So we've encompassed the entire county. Our biggest aim was to tackle the health inequalities that we have within our county. Um, we have many challenges, as most trusts will, with geography, deprivation, ageing populations. And we do have um, quite a lot of differences that were being revealed throughout how our county operated with delivering services to patients. What we wanted to do was to look initially at proving healing rates, which I think we have achieved, and patient outcomes, because at the end of the day, it's, this is about delivering services for patients. But we also wanted to build and deliver confidence with our staff mix, um, and we've upskilling our workforce. It was important to us that we ensured continuity of care so that everyone had the same access to the same level of service, regardless from their background or geographical area. Um, I would say that our biggest challenge with implementing the recommendations has been engaging with primary care and ensuring that primary care have participated in the training that is offered. Of course, uh, primary care and care homes are outside of our circle of influence, so that has definitely been a challenge. We have certainly seen an improvement in this in more recent months. Um, however, we have had to um, almost name and shame certain areas that haven't been involved that we can really then improve the engagement of those um, individual practices and care homes. We've also had some challenges with the data and of course making sure that it did actually reflect um, what was going on in the clinical field um, and so obviously updating that and backdating that information has proved to be a bit of a challenge for us. Um, and of course, it's the commitment, of course, uh, in participating with the evaluation, of course, an evaluation um, and to ask our staff to participate in the several different factors, including an evaluation, has meant um, some challenges within our teams who haven't been able to participate solely because of the pressures that the teams are under um, in clinical settings. We've had great success with the teams um, adopting the work and the, the training. It's been really well received as a project. When we decided um, to run with the test evaluation site, we thought we would probably pilot some of the work in, in small areas to start with. But once we started to meet with different teams and to share the practice and to share the knowledge that we that we could provide, everyone wanted to adopt it really early. So we went with that county-wide approach, which we were, were quite shocked at to start with, but really welcomed it. So we've had some great healing rates. Um, it's been the engagement from the staff, which we've managed to do that with. I think having such a good, strong, positive project team behind the work, because people believe in the strategy so much and so they can see that the, the evidence is there to be able to improve patients' lives, has been the true driver for it. We've um, implemented the immediate and necessary care within our community sectors, um, and that is that's work as standard now, so that's that's regular business for us. Um, and we've had great support as well from a senior management level, and they've also sort of been engaging. So yeah, support and engagement has been really our key success. I would also just like to add to that, um, 
the uh, feedback from the training in our community teams has been really well received. So going off the national wound care recommendations, how that has actually been delivered has been really well received with our district and community nursing teams. So um, what we would do differently, uh, we would have preferred to have some more definitive metrics at the start of the project. We can appreciate this is a, a test and an evaluation and of course it was due to change. Um, however, that, as I mentioned earlier, I think the clinical settings don't accurately reflect um, and align with the data metrics um, all too well. So I think differently it would be good to have had that defined um, much more clearly at the start of the project. 